happened. Clearly, I sort of woke up in the last like 10 minutes, bare face, bad hair, but it's okay. Today, I am going to just do another vlog of going through the day. So, currently, I'm cooking some food, then I'm going to sit down and watch some YouTube for a bit. Then I'm going to do a time lapse getting ready. Don't worry, it will be a time lapse this time. <laughs> I fucked that up last time. Um, then I have to start doing some more drawings for Day of the Doodle, and I have to set Day of the Doodle up. But that will be in the description down below because I'm setting it up today. Um, I might, I might, I have to clean Spooks and Closure out today. I didn't do it yesterday, a lot went on last night. So I'll time lapse that and give you some shots of him. And I will show you Serafina right now because she's so deep in blue. I feel so bad for her, bless the poor baby, but she's been really good. She was grumpier before she went into blue. Now she's fully in it. She's just really calm and chill. And even though she probably can't see very well, she's completely... Well, I'm not going to pick her up, don't get me wrong. But I had to spot clean her cage and she, she just didn't care. <laughs> so I'll do that. I also have to actually go to a corner shop today and put money on our gas card. It's going to be a great, boring, mundane day. So I'll see you guys later in the day. So now we're going to clean Spook out. He's got some little poos. And I need to rinse his leaves off just in case those have any. But he's really... And I need to change his food. Give the cage a wipe down. <laughs> need to have a good clean day. This is the tub we got him in. And it's just easiest to put him in this because he's very jumpy. Um, there's currently a cat nearby. So got to be super careful really. But um, yeah. This is a DMS area. I'm really excited to get his new one. It's just money allowing it considering he does he's still fine in this one. Oh, he's up there hi spooky 
Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. So there we go, let's look out there. Got his stuff out and his spooky. His container is a bit grim. He might be a bit dark, he doesn't particularly like being touched right now. But you know, he's the size of my thumb. So understandable. So now I'm going to put him nice up high near the reptiles. So she can't get him. And continue cleaning, which is the boring part really. So I just thought I would open this and get some better shots of him. But um, no. So here we go. Gave it a bit of a move around now. All three of these are linked. His food bowl's over here. His stump's got the grass around it. And he's right there. He's really grumpy because he was a pain to get back in. But he's in. Just got to put the panels back on. Ignore the mess. And then we're done with Spook for the day. So, woo! There we go. Turned it around so you can see him a bit better. But, yeah, it's definitely a bit grumpy. But he's very, very cute. So, I've still got to put fresh food in. But I have to go thaw some snake food out as well. So... Interesting day. <laughs> All right, catch you in a bit. The plan was to go to the shop and put gas on, but I can't do that right now. Um, pretty much as soon as I finished filming, um, one of our cats almost got sick, and seeing as she had diarrhea yesterday, I've had to separate her and Nix, take her off food, just put her with some water um, and a litter box, and obviously some toys and cozy stuff. Gonna try set something up in there so she has something to listen to, so she doesn't cry as much because. You don't like being apart from Artie, do you? Neither does Artie, she's been crying too. Um, but she's got, she's getting water at intervals. She's got everything she needs, but not everything she wants. She wants me and Nyx, and she can't have that right now just because I thought it might be something she ate, but Nyx has eaten everything she's eaten, and Nyx is completely fine. So I've had to separate them for now till we can get to the vets, or till any infection passes through. So that's that, but um, I'm going to film you guys some snake feeding. Um, i got to go do through all that food now. So let me try get out of this room without one cat or the other trying to run in. Not Nixie. Uh, up there. Woo! Okay, baby. You're feeling good. Oh, the living room opened crap. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, our living room door does not shut easily. So, the agenda for me is for some snake food out. Much better than lighting in my kitchen. <laughs> right, I'm back in a sec. What I've got is just a little glass of Serafina with some lukewarm, well, just over lukewarm water for Serafina's and a bigger mug for uh, Salem's. I did just have a glass break on me for the first time ever, so that was fun. I poured boiling water all over my hand. So, this is what Salem's eating. I won't show you a close-up or anything, but I want to give him a pretty big one. And that'll go in there, and that'll be stuff there. And then... This is what Serafina's on. Once again, I want to try to give her a bit of a chunker. And that'll go into there. And now I'll just leave those alone until they're ready. Just need to put these back in the freezer. And then just go keep an eye on Artie. So. I said I'd show you guys some drawing, but I'm exhausted right now looking after a sick cat, two unhappy cats, as you can hear, um, Nixie! I'm trying my best, so I'm just going to film the snake feeding, and then I'll give a quick outro, and that'll be it, so. So, Salem's a girl first. I thought the flash might help a little bit have to open his cage up fully because the door is jammy as fuck. Nixie! Get down! Sorry guys. Right. Let's just get him. 
There he is. There we go. Got it sideways, so hopefully he'll shuffle it around by himself. Look, Nixie. Okay, here we go, Serafina. She's not as in her blue as she was yesterday. So. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Still wanting to eat, even though she's in her blue. There's a good girl. Sorry, guys. Nixie. Stop it. Oh, my God. So that was snakes feeding. I hope that's not too graphic for anyone, but there will be a warning at the start of this video. So um, I'll try and get exact time frame. So if you want to watch the rest of the video, you can up till that point. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling really exhausted and really crappy now, guys. Um, I got a long night ahead of me. My partner's not back till about ten, so no support until then either. All I've got left on my agenda is to make some food up for Spook. And I'm done by looking after the cats, obviously. Which is really upsetting, really. Um, it's kind of hard because I don't like seeing it. Well, she's not even acting upset. She's just acting very needy and loving. And she hasn't done that since she was a kitten. And very much did need and love me. <laughs> now she's much more independent. But being split up from next is not doing her any good. So I'm going to keep checking on her. Uh, maybe put some food on for my partner when he gets back, or before he gets back, for when he gets back. See if I feel like it. Um, yeah, sorry the ending towards this has been so... <sighs> but, um, them's the breaks. <laughs> sorry guys, so I'll catch you in the next one.